pleased with the win. Uh, I thought we did some really good things. Uh, excited about how we started fast. We took the, uh, we won the toss, took the ball, and uh, scored on the first play. I uh, thought we had a, a really nice series of plays that we were going to uh, operate, and uh, lo and behold, we take it for a touchdown, and that was a big, big uh, boost for us right away. Uh, got a block punt early in that first quarter as well. I think Seth Porter is as good as there is of finding gaps and finding seams, and he made a big block and, and got the uh, scoop and score with Dez. Um, and then uh, just kind of went back and forth. I, I, I'm impressed with uh, uh, Coach Nielsen's defense. I thought they did some really good things. I thought they have some really good guys up front. Uh, they did a really good job in some rush lanes. Um, and maybe forced us to check the ball down uh, sometimes pretty quickly. Um, but uh, overall, solid first half. Second half came out. We got a big stop uh, and then had a, a really nice sustained drive to get another touchdown. And then it became kind of a game of uh, uh, a lot of our backups. But uh, please, we played a ton of players um, that are going to get a, a great uh, education from the film because we're going to need them as the season continues on. But uh, overall, really, really pleased with a shutout and a 34 nothing win. First chance all of us got to see Adrian play in an extended environment. You've seen him all camp. What did you think? How did you think he handled everything today? I thought he handled everything really well. Um, you know, for the first time, you guys are smart enough to know, we changed a lot of things offensively. I mean, we were not what you saw last year or even some in the bowl. I mean, we were tempo most of the time. And I thought our operation was really good. I thought Adrian did a great job with the operational stuff. Um, obviously, uh, we probably um, – Missed a couple of chances. Uh, sometimes there was uh, protection issues. Sometimes maybe we just um, uh, didn't locate a receiver. But I, I thought he played really well, and I thought he played within himself. And, you know, uh, the one thing is we didn't turn the football over. And you don't turn the football over and you block a punt and, and rush the ball for 297 yards, good things are going to happen. As a defensive coach, I'm sure you love the – the zero there, how, uh, how special and rare is that for you? Uh, it's really rare anymore in college football. And, and so excited for the younger guys that uh, got an opportunity in that last drive. Yeah, they moved the ball. Um, their ones moved it against a lot of our young guys. But in the same respect, we found a way to get a stop. And uh, so pleased for those guys because it was the older guys during the timeouts who were saying, man, pre preserve the shutout, preserve the shutout. And they did. You feel like despite all you did on offense, maybe the passing game never quite finds its footing? It didn't quite find its footing, um, no. But uh, I think we can shore that up and clean that up. I, I don't. I'm not um, concerned about it at all because uh, I've seen us operate at a at a really high level, throwing the football all through uh, fall camp, and um, it, it's something we'll just keep working on. But I, I'm not concerned about it. We but we need to throw the ball. You know, we need to continue to be more efficient. We had a couple newcomers on the defense side of the ball. We expected to see that didn't play. Josh and yeah, um, as of Tuesday, they were going to at our, at our press conference. And then uh, um, I ran into some health issues on Tuesday at practice and we're not available. And we're hoping that they're going to be available this next week. And finally, Taylor Portier, what's his I have says? not heard anything. Um, hoping and praying for the best because of what he went through last year. What do you think you uh, learned the most about your defense tonight? Um, well, you know, not having Josh out there, you know, we played we played VJ Payne as a true freshman, right. and we played Nikendra Stigger that showed up here about uh, July fifteenth, and uh, so those two kids did a really nice job for being very inexperienced. Uh, I, I think we're very disruptive up front um, with a lot of guys. Uh, I think Julius and Echo are really really good players, and we just got to keep filling. If, kind of getting the pieces around him. But I, I was pleased. Anytime you shut somebody out and hold them to, you know, whatever they had, it didn't have many yards against our starters. Did you play Khalid Duke more than you thought you were going to? Yeah, because Sean was out. You know, that, that you know, was part of that. They were going to split time. And then on, at the end of the day on Tuesday, all of a sudden, Khalid became the full-time guy and Des became the, the spell player. So I couldn't tell you how many plays Khalid played, but he needed to play that many plays um, simply because, you know, playing outside backer as opposed to a, to a defensive end, um, he still needs game reps. And then lastly, Austin Moore kind of, you know, saw his probably the first extended playing time. What did you see from him? You know, Austin has played a lot of football for us on special teams and backed up Fletch and done some really nice things. But it was pretty cool. A walk-on kid from Kansas starting at inside linebacker for the Wildcats, a dream for him. And um, he's a really good player. And uh, I, I'm sure he played really well. It doesn't, you know, we'll watch the film, but uh, so excited about Austin's progress.
after you get out to the seven and nothing lead, that quick play offensively. Yep. I know the defense might have in their mind, hey, we're already up seven nothing. This is going to be easy. How how big was it to come out physically on that first possession and kind of shut them down right away to set the tone for the rest? Yeah, of Yeah, especially when we really didn't know what they were going to try to do to us because nobody runs what we run on defense. And uh, so I thought we really had them off balance in the first half. Give give those guys credit. I thought they did a really nice job of making some adjustments. South Dakota did in the second half to throw some RPO stuff against us from short routes. They weren't beating us, but they were uh, converting some first downs. But, so you know, to bend and not break and, and find ways uh, to get a sack on a big play or uh, on defense or a fourth and one stop. I mean, those guys, uh, my hat's off to those defensive coaches and players. They they uh, play really well. Hey, Gil. What did you think about DJ Giddens as the number two? I thought he played – I thought he did a nice job. Played, ran hard, ran physical, just like he has done since we started fall camp. He's feeling more comfortable in his role and understanding what we're doing uh, offensively. And so he's going to continue to get those reps and, and uh, excited for him. Yeah, one more on Adrian. Did you feel like he was comfortable in the pocket Absolutely. throughout the night? Absolutely. I, I did. I mean, guys, I, I don't know what he was, but he didn't turn the football over. Uh, 11 of 15. Um, once again, we dumped the ball off some. And we'll, we'll look at that and see where – where, where we can improve, whatever you want to say. But, guys, I, I was trying to get him comfortable. He never played here before and make sure that we didn't turn the football over and that we were efficient. Um, and he converted some first downs running the football. Um, uh, pleased with how he performed for first game. Hayden Gillum gets the start at center, his first start. Uh, how, how do you feel like he played there anchoring that offensive line? Uh, Gilly was one of our players of the game down in the locker room. Gilly's uh, – uh, a guy that's been around here a long time, another walk-on kid that uh, earned a scholarship that uh, um, is a dream for him to play at K-State. And I thought he anchored that front and did a really good job. Hi, Coach Alec Bussey. Can you just evaluate how your receivers did tonight in terms of getting open downfield? And you talk about dumping off a little bit, but in terms of downfield a little bit, can you yeah, evaluate Yeah, I thought that? they did uh, some really good things. We ran some double moves. Um, you know, we took what they gave us a few times, just throwing some quick smokes and stuff out there. One thing I'll tell you, I was impressed. South Dakota came up and, and tackled re really well. Give those kids credit. I thought those guys did a nice job. But, uh, you know, I was excited for a kid like R.J. Garcia uh, make a big-time catch on a, on a contested throw on the sideline uh, that's what the exciting thing for us because you know RJ's um, you know in that next group of wideouts that's going to play for us and we need him to be able to make those big plays of getting Adrian comfortable and confident in the offense. How important is it to just complete a ton of passes like you did tonight, going 11 of 15? You know, I think it's important. I think it's just getting a feel for um, playing here at the Bill and playing with our offense and he and Coach Klein. It's a, it's obviously going to be a work in progress, but uh, I, I was really pleased. Coach, you guys came out in a lot of two tight end sets, went under center a lot. Was it because you had such effectiveness running the football that you kind of stuck with that, or was no, that the game No, I just plan? think it was a combination of what was on the card, um, just trying to do multiple things. We, we like our tight ends. We like our wide receivers. You know, we lined up in a fullback sometimes. I mean, just the more somebody has to prepare for, you know, it's harder. It's hard to defer, defend all the things that we do. And then – Jake Rubley got in there at the at the end. That's the first time we've seen him yep. in game action. What did you think of his Rubes performance? Rubes did a nice job. I thought he had a great throw to, to Will Swanson on a, on a bootleg pattern that was thrown on the money. And, and Jake's gotten progressively better from spring through uh, summer and fall camp. And I was excited for him because uh, he prepares and works really hard uh, at his craft. And uh, it wasn't mop-up time. It was... Colin, call the plays, call the card, let's go. And uh, I really appreciated uh, Rubes because he came to play. Very first play, is that something that Colin, you guys schemed and really liked? Or how did that uh, – You'll have to ask Cade that when he comes up here. I know he went and cracked the safety, and I don't know where the corner was. We must have let on him. But one, I, I was kind of seeing right – coming right at me, and I saw him leak, and there was a seam there. And once he got around that – the one guy about 15 yards into it, he was over with. I knew he was going to outrun everybody. Does that change anything in a coach's mind mentally when you see the very first play, 10 seconds, you get a touchdown out of it? Uh, makes you happier for than you were 10 <laughs> seconds before. And then since here, Mason got a got a pick, yep. how, how happy were you to kind of see him? Yeah, uh, another kid came off of a major injury last year and uh, got a chance to get his feet wet and, and play. Played a decent amount of snaps. Uh, I'm excited for Sincere. He's getting stronger. His knee's getting stronger. He's a really smart player. He's a headsy player. He made a big-time play because the kid was open, and he just read the quarterback's eyes and jumped in front of it. And then the two – 
two noses that we, we hadn't seen before, Uso and, and, and Damien. They both seems like they made a, an impact late in the game. Uso's especially a big Damian. man in there. Uso's a big man in there. He made a couple really good plays. I was happy to see Damien. We, we I feel like we have a lot of depth on the defense, defensive front with uh, the nose tackles. Then you throw Cody Stuffelbean, Brandon Mott. We played a lot of guys on that D-line. in the back, I guess. Yep. yep. Coach, some of the coaches that you talked to with other teams have said that you, uh, you, they feel like you've got the best team you've had here. You've had some really good players and some really good teams here. What do you think about this team at this point? Oh, uh, you know, we're a work in progress. Um, we have a lot of talent. Uh, we need to see if we can develop depth. Good chance for us to watch that film and see. I think the kids would tell you that um, we have a lot of talent that uh, um, we just got to continue to improve every day because it's just going to get tougher from here on out. But uh, we're excited about the team we have. Can you talk about next week? You had a chance presumably to see some of Missouri the other night. What do you think about this matchup? I, haven't, I didn't watch any of it, honestly. Um, but uh, I know they're a really good program, uh, lots of talent. Uh, I'm excited to have that rivalry game played again, and uh, it'll be a great atmosphere. It's going to be a sellout here again at the Bill. Thank you guys. Or what do you think about the way you guys supported the quarterback pass pro run game and, and the other phase? I think you had two touchdowns on the board before you even completed two passes. Oh, we did. Yeah, I mean, I thought we did a nice job of protection. Once again, I thought South Dakota was really good up front. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, we've got a lot of unselfish guys. You know, I mean, he comes out and kicks somebody, Cade cracks, and, and it's off to the races. But, uh, you know, we get guys that are unselfish. They want to win football games. And uh, we condensed our formation and made, a, made some great blocks, and Malik outran everybody. It was a big-time play.